All right, we have time for one or two more questions. You have energy for one more question and a song. How about that? There we go. Because the daddy needs to go rest. Our final question here this week. on the Boy, I didn't need to twist your arm, did I? On this shortened edition of the drive-thru was sent in by, uh, I'm guessing this isn't his real name, Hugh Jass. He, you know, he had a great burger place in Lexington until this fucking carpetbagger came in and bought it and closed it down. <laughs> he did, a guy came in and bought huge-ass burgers in Lexington to close huge-ass burgers and open up another burger place of a different kind in the same fucking location. A while, carpetbaggers! Carpetbaggers! A while ago, you mentioned something about Kevin Dunn having a job for life because he saved some tapes from a fire. Could you expand upon that a bit? Well, it, 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 I'm not saying that one thing gave him a job for life. Actually, the ability to lick Vince McMahon's left testicle better than it's ever been licked before has probably got Kevin jo- done a job for life. Plus, wasn't that his father the story's about, not him? Well, yeah, it, here was the thing. When I first got there, of course, Kevin Dunn and I were oil and water instantly. The Mr. This is not wrestling. This is not a sport. Uh, and nobody knows anything about any stars that have not been made in the WWF. So, of course, we instantly just disliked each other but i said how did this i would ask a few people how did this guy get in this important position his father was the director for the old wwf and back to the old wwwf tv tapings they did in hamburg pennsylvania and and allentown right they would every month they would do their two syndicated shows four at a time in hamburg and allentown and then take everything back to baltimore where their post-production and editing was done at the time. And Kevin Dunn's father was the director. One day he's, he's, I, and back in those days, this is what you did. You took the fucking tapes of the shows off the tape machine and put them in their case, and you'd put them in the trunk of the car, and you drove them back to the studio. And he's going in the middle of the night from Allentown or Hamburg somewhere back to fucking Baltimore, and his car catches on fire. And he pulls over to the side of the road, the car bursts into flames or whatever. I'm sure maybe it maybe wasn't that dramatic, but the car is on fire. And he had the the wherewithal to get in the trunk and open it up and get the TV tapes out. And and that's just, so then Kevin was his son who came along and learned at his knee, but that's why Vince was always uh, uh, allegedly, in those days, uh, loyal to the Dunn family. Which is why that I guess as long as Vince is alive, Kevin Dunn's going to be there. I have a feeling that Kevin Dunn will need a new nameplate uh, for his door the day Vince dies and Triple H takes over, but that's just my thought. Oh, I have a feeling that that may be true. 